pretty much spent my entire scientific existence trying to see things that nobody's seen before. My name is Philip Kokura. I'm a physical chemist at the University of Oxford. If you want to understand how a process works, ideally you want to visualize it, either to make it better or to prevent it. Otherwise, you're shooting in the dark. The focus of our work is to use light scattering to visualize and then quantify the signal that comes from a single molecule scattering light. Then you can observe that the biomolecule has bound and you can quantify how big that biomolecule is. Measuring mass is, you could argue, one of the cornerstones of you know, modern society. You know, we started weighing things 5,000 years ago and then in 1918 Aston developed a mass spectrometer. We now have the third way of weighing things and it's genuinely just by looking at it. Chemistry and science in general has shifted very much towards the life sciences. And in the life sciences, you're dealing with large molecules. Um, most of them like to be in water. We now can weigh molecules in the way that a mass spectrometer does, except that we can weigh individual ones under conditions more representative of life. I think it could have an impact on a significant amount of people because it will enable new science highly relevant to health we can quantify very, very accurately the processes that lead to Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, and then we can quantify very accurately which drugs inhibit which parts of the process, then that will help us find a cure. Being the Blavatnik Laureate, of course, is an incredible honor. It clarifies to the people who work with me that their work is important. You know, those are the people in the trenches, you know, the students and the postdocs who actually do the work, put in the long hours, who make the impossible possible. We were pushing the boundaries of what is possible and when you do that, when you keep doing that, eventually you're going to get somewhere that is really going to change the way people do things.